what's what do you notice when you you see see when we had this blue line yeah, it, it looked like oh more or less nicely up what do you notice when you when you actually look at this line now mm, yeah i mean like for for me as i would say like or from from my tests <laughs> um we could have actually realized a lot more yeah could but we? we didn't <laughs> yes of course we could have bought low and sell high right like we could have just captured the top here and in here and here right and instead here we're not going to make much money which we could have yeah or yeah or also we could have we could have sold like higher like i think if for for long i i had this where we i don't know entered at let's say 200 and then like it went up to 250 and then it went down to 230 and then we mm. sold. Yeah. Now the interesting thing is, um, and the nature, so, so what we're doing here with this moving average is actually what's called trend following. Mm -hmm. And while you think you, you look at this and you think, well, yeah, I could have made money here and here. I could have made a lot more in reality though it's actually not really possible. Mm -hmm. Like when you have these strategies, you will always come in a little bit late and you will always exit, exit a little bit early. There's nothing really you can do. And and what's interesting is you can try different, um, you know, different look back windows and you will find that, you know, it doesn't actually improve things by a lot. So let's just say instead of 250, we use 150, and instead of 25, maybe we just use 50. So it's closer together. And then we run it again. And you will find that overall, see, it's actually worse. <laughs> it's much worse. <laughs> it's actually not a great strategy anymore. Mm -hmm. So so if you try to, if you have a decent strategy that looks like this, and you try to um, to fiddle too much with the parameters, you will in fact end up um, making it a lot worse. Mm -hmm. um, so this could this could really be an issue. So so uh, let let's just see. Um, this this is like let the, me just the... rerun the strategy before. The overfitting, so, right? That you said, like in a way, right? Well, it is overfitting. Well, this is not really over. Well, this is not really overfitting yet. We come to this okay. a bit later. Um, but basically, what that is is just trying to meddle too much with something, right? And actually, actually, it's like like if you try to improve that even more and try to like exit here. Usually, what happens is it makes things a lot worse. <laughs> And um, and this is this is obviously a very sweeping statement, and 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 uh, there's a lot more nuance to that further down the track. But in terms of you know beginner level right now, I can tell you, if you see something like this, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> okay. Now what I want to do next with you is, we, I want to actually start analyzing um, this strategy. And I basically want to um, um, show you how you can use different metrics to see whether this strategy is actually any good or not. Because right now, we, you know, we don't really know. I mean, uh, is it is it a good strategy? Is it not a good strategy? We don't really know. Okay. So the question is, of course, now, uh, what can we do to to analyze the strategy? And in order to do this, I actually want to go back um, to my unrealized or to my percentage returns, first of all, because it's a much better way um, to analyze a strategy. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, divide, I go from dollar returns to percentage returns, okay? And I rerun this again. And then once we have this unrealized P&L here, we can, yeah, we can go back and we can analyze or we can go to percentage returns. So the analysis of the strategy, this is a whole topic by itself.
Mm-hmm. And one thing is people who work for me generally, what I'll do is I give them a huge long winded rundown on understanding uh, how if, if a strategy is any good or not. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's it's a super, super important thing to do. And first the first thing we need to understand is when we look at a PL curve like this, we can actually never understand this on its own. 